All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I'm going to give you my thought process when I got this safe right here. Now, every YouTuber that you see, like gun channels and things like that, you always see a safe and they got fancy safe and things like that. And again, it is what it is. I don't have a fancy safe. I have one that I got from Tractor. What is it? Trailer Supply. Tractor Trailer Supply. What is it called? Tractor Supply. There we go. Company. And I got a really good deal. I think I pay about 500 bucks because it was a Black Friday special. And usually run for about $800. I passed by. I think it was 500 bucks. And I was like, whoa. And I actually didn't have the money to available when that happened. So what I did was that I put it on layaway. And it was fantastic. You know, whatever percent off, $300 off or something crazy. And I was able to put it in layaway. I paid it off the next following check and boom here it is but again as i came into getting a save i had a lot of thinking to do and i actually looked a lot and i started doing a lot of research and i started you know investigating and learning and things like that and there's definitely some safe out there that are in the thousands and it would have been great to be able to buy that but obviously i couldn't afford them at that point and here's the thing some of you guys have guns are a lot of money some of you guys have a lot of guns i really don't have a ton amount of guns i mean i got enough guns but or never enough right i got quite a good amount of guns but nothing crazy like some people that i have met some of you guys have you know so many 1911s so many expensive six next thing you know you have twenty five thousand dollars and obviously if you have that crazy amount of money on guns you want to have them protected it make sense so take this for what it is, in my opinion, in my or for my purpose, what I was looking for, this to me did just fine. So I want to kind of give you a couple thoughts into that. Before I get into that, obviously, if you want to support the channel, you know what to do, guys. You can become a patron. Where is it? Ban. Right there. You can become a patron. You can like the channel. You can subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Share the videos. I definitely appreciate when you guys share the videos. And what else? One more thing. I want to mention and go ahead and subscribe to my other channel right here blessings of liberty i appreciate all the guys that have come to subscribe and some of you guys are enjoying some of the videos right here uh with me thank you so much for being here so here's the thing i got a cannon and i think that i got this one maybe i don't know i was trying to look at the number in there to see which one i got but again a very simple safe really very simple safe Nothing crazy, you know, just good enough. And I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one, the one that I got. And again, it does what I want, you know, pretty well. And essentially what I was looking for was I was looking for something that allowed me to keep my gun secure because I have children, right? And again, as I'm looking at the safe, this is kind of like what came upon me as I was thinking about this because... Remember this, guys. There's a lot of things that you're going to look into the safe, right? So one of the things is going to be the fire resistant. How long is going to be able to protect whatever you have in there? Maybe guns, maybe paperwork and things like that. Obviously, every safe have a different rating. And if you see this, let me bring it back over here and goes to some of the specs. This is some of the things that you kind of have to figure out right here. It says fire rate, 1200 degree. 45 minutes so that's kind of what you get right and then obviously it gives you how many guns you could put in there right so you could put pistols you could put rifles and things like that obviously this thing could be kind of changed right you could put ammunition and things like that again you could change this some people get the safe and then they they change the entire uh inside to make it fit what they want right some of the rifles are longer some of the rifle has bigger uh Again, you know, bigger barrels and things like that. And you have to readjust that. You know, in this case, look, this guy has a camera right there. Or this picture, which obviously some of the, this equipment costs a lot of money. So many pistols. I do have some hangers that come from the top shell. And you can hang more pistols in there as well. But again, you know, the fire rating is going to be a good one. How hard, you know, triple hard anti-drill plate. 
Harness steel protection. That's going to be something good as well. Uh, this right here, the lock, and I'm going to put it right here. If you guys see the lock right there, some of the locks are different, right? So this one's a keypad. Some of them are, you know, completely different. Some of them are stronger. Some of them, I mean, there's so many different things in this lock system that I'm just not going to talk about it because, quite frankly, I'm not that educated on it. You know, the weight, how heavy it is. If you compare one of the safe right here, Let's kind of compare with this one right here, Mesa. All right, let's bring this one. This one's $1,500, way more money. So what is this is giving you? You know, this one is at least 500 pounds, one hour fire rating tested. It doesn't tell you too many things. So again, you know, everything is going to have different, uh, different information. Okay, 665 lifetime warranty. Uh, a couple other things in here. One of the things that I wanted, this right here, power source core. I wish mine had a power source uh, core because obviously you could put things in there to charge batteries or whatever you want to charge, right? Like weapon slice and things like that. You could do that. In my case, mine doesn't have it, right? Fire rating, fire protection, uh, how thick the steel is and all that. So again, you could really get into it. And you can really get into a lot of the information to tell you the truth uh, and a lot of stuff. But here's the thing that I want to mention. Let me bring my face back here. As I was looking at the safe, right, and I was looking at all the stuff, I remember I was looking at a safe that was over $2,000. And I couldn't afford it at the time. But I put, you know, I, I told to myself, maybe I'll put myself in payments. Bad idea, by the way. Bad idea. So... I started looking at my payments and I started building the safe and it was great. And it had a lot of different things. But as I put it here in the community, one thing came across all the time. And the thing was simple. Every safe could be open. And I was like, what do you like? What do you mean? You know, I'm paying two thousand dollars for the safe. I'm hoping that you got to bring U.S. Marines to open this thing. Right. No. Every safe could be open, and there is videos in here of people, like, peeling the safe like a sardine can. Like, literally, like, just peeling the safe like it's a sardine can. And it was kind of demotivated, really kind of demotivated. And the whole thing is that some safe may take longer than all the safe, right? So, for instance, a safe like this may be open quickly, obviously, than a safe that is $2,000, right? Makes sense, right? But as I saw this thing, some of the people were opening the safe in like an hour. All right, 20 minutes, an hour. And then I thought to myself, well, I'm at work all day long, like eight, nine hours out of my day. So if somebody breaks in, he has eight hours to be able to do whatever he wants because I'm not here. Right. So no matter what safe I have, he has eight hours. So what I really need is something that is going to allow me to detect the bad guy coming inside my house. And again, you know, I have cameras. Cameras work fantastic. So again, now as it is, if you walk inside my house, my, my cameras are on, right? I get a notification. I call the police. And obviously I got the safe. They will have to open. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take for the police to show up. Maybe six, seven minutes. That's how much time. They have, but if I wouldn't have the cameras and I have a fancy save, then it will be, I don't know, six hours later or come from work and my safe is open and they took my stuff, right? So again, you know, something to think about. Here's the thing. If you have the money, I'm not saying by no means that buying a, a cheaper safe is better than buying or, or better than buying an expensive safe. And because of the reasons that I'm speaking, having a, a more expensive safe doesn't make sense. That That's not what I'm saying. And no mean, it, oh, by no means, if you have the money, buy the best safe you could buy for the money that you have. But in my case, I didn't have the money. I sold this for 500 bucks in tractor supply because it was a Black uh, Black Friday special. And I wanted to have a safe that is going to protect my guns and, you know, my kids and stuff like that. If, if the friends come over and again, if somebody comes seeing, he's going to have to work for it. He just can't take my guns. And it makes sense for me because I needed that money. And by the way, or I needed a safe. And by the way, this Canon safe had done great. I have it for what? Over a year at a bare minimum. And I had an issue the other day opening because I think the battery was kind of is, is kind of messed up. I had to change the battery. And I did it too many times. But other than that, I never had an issue with the safe. And I think that was pretty much operator error. Like me, I made a mistake. I really haven't had an issue with that safe. It has been great. I wish it had a power cord so I could charge stuff inside the safe. 
but it doesn't. Or like a USB charger a lot of times, but it doesn't. So there are some things that I, I wish it would have had. So if you have the money, yeah, go and buy a bigger safe. Go and buy a, a really expensive safe that offers you better fire protection, offer you a better you know locking system and things like that. But just know that every safe is, is going to be open some kind of way. Really, it is going to be open. So if, in my opinion, really, I would consider spending money on a safe, but I also would consider spending money on something that is going to tell you that bad guys are coming into your house. For instance, cameras, right? You may have a $3,000 safe, but if you come back from work too, you know, after the weekend because you travel out of state and you come back, the bad guys had a whole day to take your guns. So, but if you have cameras, guess what? You know when they're coming in. So, it kind of go hand, uh, hand in hand, if that make any sense. I think it's a good idea to be able to buy something that tells you that somebody comes inside the house and not spend all your money on the safe. But again, here's the thing. Last thing I'm going to say. Every person has different things that you need. You may have $30,000 on firearms and you need to have a camera and you need to have like uh, uh, the best safe that you could buy because that's what you need. And I totally understand that. This right here is working just fine for me. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.